Alright listen, something happened. Last week I finally got my new graphics card. I couldn't wait to try it out. According to the online community, swapping out a graphic card is not hard on Linux. Or so I thought. Simply remove the old drivers, restart your PC to be safe, shut it down and start to swap the graphic cards. Done and done. But what I didn't expect was that when I went to boot it up, it just got stuck. Like hard stuck. There was nothing you could do with your keyboard at all. But since I'm using Fedora, that was not a big of an issue. And again, so I thought. Fedora has a neat little feature called Rescue Mode. But it has a twist. In order to access the command line, you need a root password. But Fedora does not have a root password set by default. To be honest, I never really cared about the root password, seeing that you could just use sudo, which also has the benefit of being much safer for non-power users if the privileges are set correctly. But its biggest flaw is that it needs access to the user's home directory, which was apparently not accessible to me. So without access to a command line, there really wasn't anything I really could do, except to get out my Fedora Live USB stick and boot into a live environment to access my main drive. And it was accessible. However, the GPT table was partially damaged, and I believe that somehow my bootloader got damaged as well. Now, I wonder how swapping a graphics card could cause such an issue? But never mind that. The reason on why I'm making this video is to showcase on what you can do if something similar happened to you as well. So leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more useful videos just like this one. I appreciate your support. So like I said before, sometimes with hardware changes, problems start to occur. This however is not an issue exclusive to just Linux. I don't know what broke my SSD, but it certainly wasn't a driver issue, but probably something else that happened during the swapping process. But the thing is that Linux is robust and can tank some hits without losing your data. So let's get your data back. If you don't have a physical backup of your drive, then the first thing you want to do is the same what I did, make a live USB stick. You can just use the installation image of most distros, since many of them just feature a fully operational Linux distro with a desktop environment for testing purposes. In here you can mount your broken drive and access all of your files. Since I already had a partially up to date backup on an external drive, I just proceeded to copy over some missing files. This works for me since I always edit the same files, which frankly are not that many. Especially after changing a major piece of hardware and on how old your Linux install was, you might want to consider just copying your files, since a clean installation from time to time can be a good idea on desktops. If you don't want to reinstall, then you can also try to get rescue boot going by setting a root password. For that, the easiest way to do this is to use the terminal with the commands df-h for a normal partition drive or lvscan for LVM partitions, we need to look out for the root partition. The next thing we want to do is to create a mount point with subdirectories. So let's create this directory with make directory minus p, which is a parameter for creating subdirectories, with the path root mount slash sysimage slash boot. Now we want to mount our root partition we've identified earlier, root mount sysimage. Again, if you're using an LVM partition, then you need to mount it slightly different. We want to repeat this with boot, proc, dev and run. Pass in the following parameters as such and hit enter. Now in order to change the root password, we first need to use chroot mount sysimage with bin bash. This allows us to set the root password with the command passwd. After you've entered the new password, we can safely exit the terminal, reboot our system and boot from the hard drive to enter rescue mode. If your system runs on a BTRFS drive, the default of Fedora for example, you can also use the functionalities of the file system itself to restore your data. If that also fails and you really want to go deeper, then I suggest to look up guides on the internet. Otherwise, a new installation is probably a lot faster if you can afford the loss of data. Fortunately, in most cases it never comes to that, since nowadays a lot of distros provide restore points out of the box. And if the system fails to boot, they can still be accessed with a live boot environment. There are so many different ways on how you can restore your data on Linux, but there's only so much time I can invest into these methods. Try my suggested methods first. But remember that if you get access to your drive, don't just restore it right away. Make a backup here as well. Better play it safe. Always remember that. So in conclusion, if your PC fails to boot up your Linux operating system, don't panic. If your distro uses Grub or something similar, then it automatically detects often reboots and starts to show some more options. 
Try using rescue modes to restore your system. This of course heavily depends on the distro of your choice, so make sure to look up a guide for that. If you cannot enter rescue boot, then just create a live USB stick with an installer ISO and boot it by changing the boot order in the UEFI. Access your drive, backup it and restore it. And just like that, you're back. I didn't even restore my system. I just went for a full reinstall since I have most of my important data on different drives. You know, clean out some unused packages, dependencies and caches. Just follow these steps and you have a good chance to get your data back. And that's where I'll leave it. So if you've liked this video then make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. You can also click right here for another interesting video. You won't regret it. And all that's left to say now is good morning, good afternoon or good evening wherever you are. I'll see you around.